We have been using the wind power for a long time, as an energy source for sailboats and windmills. Wind happens because of the difference of pressure on the Earth's surface. Air moves from the higher to the lower pressure areas causing wind. The first wind turbine was made in 1888 by Charles F. Brush and it had 144 wooden blades and could generate 12 kilowatts of power. But soon after the power line's expansion in the 1930s, the use of wind as an energy source declined. But nowadays, wind is considered a cheap, clean, unlimited source of energy. Wind turbines act as an obstacle to the kinetic energy of the wind, turning it to electrical energy and producing up to 6 million kilowatts in a year. But why three blades, not less or more? More blades means more force is required to create rotation and will slow speed down. And the turbines used for generating electricity needs more speed and less torque, so the less blades, the better. But it seems like using one blade is optimal. However, one blade makes the turbine unbalanced and that's not practical. Also, two blades might seem better than three, but using two blades will make the turbine more prone to a phenomenon known as gyroscopic precision, making it wobbly and hence less stable. So, using three blades is ideal for high energy and more stability. Subscribe for more videos, turn on post notification, like the video if you do. Thanks for watching.